What's going on guys? It is Tony from Loma Paintball and today we are talking the brand new Powerhouse Featherweight Tanks. And why? Because it's the best source for paintball tanks. That would be LomaPaintball.com, of course. So Mark, we are going to dive right on into this bad boy. Yeah, newly released, a brand new Powerhouse slash infamous Featherweight Tanks. Uh, they came out with uh, three sizes of these bad boys. We've got a 68 CI, we've got a 78 CI, and we have an 88 CI, depending how much air you guys are shooting out there on the field. Uh, kind of go over a quick little um, synopsis of this, a little recap, shall we say. Um, they do have the TKO, we'll start with the regulator first. They do have the TKO powerhouse regulators. We've done videos on these bad boys before. But if you guys don't know, we'll talk real quick about it. It does come with a stainless steel cartridge. These tanks are fully adjustable with interlocking um, like set screw grooves on the inside. So depending on how, where you screw this tank onto your gun, if you don't like that the fill nipple or the gauge is digging into your wrist, you guys can actually rotate the top bonnet and each groove, there's separate, um, set screw pockets on the inside of this cartridge that allow this tank not to slip. So obviously some of those other tanks out there on the market that you guys can do the rotational system with, but this one has those grooves that that set screw, once you lock it into, it's not gonna move or slip no matter what. So I really like that. And obviously with it being stainless steel, that is a huge uh, benefit for you guys out there. It's a lot stronger than aluminum. If you guys do notice here, the burst disc on each side, they are very low profile. So those bad boys aren't going to be sticking out on you. So they're flat burst discs there. Um, it does have wave spring technology on the inside of the regulator, allows for a faster recharge rate. So your gun is gonna be shooting consistent all the time compared to a spring or shim stack per se. And it does have the, uh, the famous powerhouse power puck, uh, which is a lot better than your standard reg seat, allows a little bit better airflow for you guys. So a little bit about the TKO regulator by Powerhouse. These things are extremely awesome and apparently it's all made in the USA. Now more about the bottle. So obviously this is the brand new featherweight bottle. Uh, Powerhouse claims this is the lightest bottle on the market and we're gonna find out here in just a moment. We're gonna throw them on the scale and we're gonna weigh the 68, the 78 and the 88. Price point on these bad boys, $299.95. So you're getting the full air system and all of these tanks are that price point. So depending on if you wanted the 68 or if you're a woods ball guy and you need all of the air or a back player, you pick up the big old 88 over here. So Mark, do you wanna know anything else about this tank other than the most important thing ever? These are tri-label certified, dot and TC approved. You can use these bad boys anywhere in the world. So that is a huge, huge selling point on these tanks. So obviously you're going to NXL Europe or if you're in Europe and you're coming to the United States or you're going to wherever it may be, there's even vents in Australia and Mexico, all of that stuff. You can bring these tanks and use them because they are certified there. So I don't know. Did you mention what the uh, what the PSI uh, adjustability is on those regs? Uh, these can go anywhere from 400 to 650, I believe. They are set stock from the factory at a 450 PSI output. So you've got um, you got a lot of nice uh, things going on with this. And I was just going to say, I don't know if any other tank on the market currently you can use anywhere in the world. Big big selling point. So enough of me talking. Let's throw these bad boys on the scale, Mark. Let's you ready do for it. this? Yes, sir. All right, so this is the little boy. This is the 68. I'm gonna use a tank stand and then I'm gonna tear it. That way it's easier. And yes, we're, we're weighing these with the regulator on. Obviously these stainless steel cartridges are gonna be heavier than an aluminum. So we'll see what it uh, turns out to be. All right. I we're, thought I was high enough to see the scale. I cannot. So honor system, you need to okay. be honest, Annie. Well, we're gonna do each one twice, and I'm looking over. Looks like a two pounds, 2.9 ounces. Two pounds, 2.9 ounces. Let me just tear it again, and just make sure that is an accurate reading. Two pounds, two, it's reading it upside down, Mark. Oh, yep. I'm sorry. Two pounds, 2.9 ounces, you're good. All right, so the 68 with the uh, TKO reg, that's what that weighs. Set that off to the side, let's tear the scale. Next up is going to be the 78. 
Now, if you guys don't know, just want to be clear, when he tears the scale, it's keeping the weight of the stand back at zero. Correct. So the weight of the stand is not influencing the weight of the scale. That is exactly right. Okay, so we got the 78 on there, and we are looking at two pounds, 4.7 ounces. Pull the tank off. I'm going to tear that again. And obviously I'm using these stands so I get the weight of the entire tank with the rag because some people are like, well, if you just laid it on there, well, some of it's hanging off. I get it. It probably would give you the same reading, but I don't know. I just, we want to be official here as well, official as possible. Uh, we're, this isn't the science club. So um, let's go back on. Ooh, but leave us a comment if you want to join our new science club. I'll be starting it with membership fees as low as $295 <laughs> a month. <laughs> Two pounds, 4.7 ounces. I'm going to do that. Was that the first one? That was the second time, but... Yeah, I know, but I just, def I, we got to talking and I just wanted to make sure this is as accurate as possible. Two pounds, 4.7 ounces again. So that is the 78 uh, featherweight tank. And lastly, let's put on the big 88 and see what that weighs. Tear the scale and throw that bad boy on there. It is at two pounds, 7.7 .7 ounces. And we're going to do that one more time. And it is two pounds, 7.7 .7 ounces. So there we have it. Do me a favor. Yeah. Do one without the stand with it overhanging just so they can see that it really isn't making an impact. Okay. Two pounds. 7.7 seven seven for the big tank. So we'll tear it and I'm going to try to get this to balance on there without falling off. Yeah, they want to roll. Uh, it is actually two, yeah, two, 7.7. 7. There you go. It's the same thing. Proof in the pudding, guys. Proof is in the pudding, so there it is. Um, yeah, these are the brand new Powerhouse, because they've got a little infamous logo on that reg there, so a little Powerhouse infamous collab. I don't know, but it's labeled Powerhouse, so I'm going with that. It's their featherweight tanks. Check them out on the website. It's supposedly the lightest tank on the market, so stay tuned for future videos. We can verse it against some other, you know, some other tanks and see what's going on there. Uh, and you guys already know where to shop the best. It's LoneWolfPaintball.com. See you.